Okay guys, y'all see the last video I put out, we uh, did some work to the old Predator engine and uh, <clears throat> I got it cranked, it's running pretty good, it's running, running really good actually, sitting here on the, in the barn. But I put a new carburetor on it, put a new coil on it, I'm getting plenty of spark and uh, it seems to be running good. It still has a little drag when I'm trying to crank it, like the battery might be dead or the uh, starter might be a little weak, draggy. Someone told me that the valves might be too tight and it's... Uh, kind of you know hard for them to turn over but we're gonna we're gonna adjust the valves today it's kind of hard to find a video i found several with the other predator engine this is the hemi version it has the wider valve box right here valve cover nevertheless we're gonna adjust the valves uh i watched jt gatoring's video on how to do it and uh he's, he's you know pretty good exp explanation of it you know and went in pretty good detail but he had pictures and showed pictures he didn't actually show him doing the actual adjusting of it but uh which is fine but you can learn a lot from him but i wanted to uh make a video of me actually adjusting these valves and see what uh you know if they're out or uh and how to tighten them up and all that so uh first time i've ever done it i'm gonna take you all along and we're gonna learn it together okay this valve cover has got six uh number number eights holding it on there Oh, dang. Dropped two out of six. That's not bad, is it? I made a song out of that, didn't I? Two out of six ain't bad. Two out of four ain't bad. Two out of three, something like that. Okay, this thing should just pop right off. Try to leave that seal in place. We don't want to mess with it if we don't need it. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. So they say the best thing to do is take Take this off right here. Turn the motor over a lot easier. <laughs> oh, I actually didn't drop it. It just rolled off, okay? So that wasn't my fault. You have the 0 0.4. I know you probably aren't gonna be able to see it. It's got numbers. This is a, a four, five, and six right here. 0 0.004, 0 0.005, 0.006. These are the three we have to use for this. The four should go pretty easily. The five should go kind of, you know, hard, but still go. The six shouldn't go at all. So that would be a perfect uh, valve adjustment for these valves on this motor right here. Okay, here's the valves, the valve springs. This is going to be hard to probably see but my adjustment's underneath there. Here's my screw. Just gotta turn it and get it where the push rod. So if you'll notice, you gotta get it at the very top. It's going down, 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 right there. That should be the top of it right there on that one. So this lock nut right here is a number 10. So it's pretty tight also. So you wanna loosen it up, get my filler gauge. I'm gonna have to back the camera off a little bit. This is the number four, and it goes in there pretty easily. We're gonna pull out the number six right here, and the six should not fit, should not fit up hardly at all. Okay, that's my four, so. So let's, let's move it just a tad bit more. All I'm doing is squeezing that, that right there. Back it off just to, I mean, you see, I'm not moving that hardly at all. My four. Oh yeah, the four is going good. Let's try the five. Okay, the five's going, but it's got some friction. Let's try the six. Okay, the six won't go at all. You don't, you don't have to move that very much at all. These things are so paper thin. Okay, the five's got some friction. The four goes easy. And the six, if I quit bumping the camera, won't go at all. So you can see, hopefully, I know it's probably hard to see in there, but these, these filler gauges are so thin. Look at that. I mean, they're just paper thin. I'm scared I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bend it. You really don't have to move that much at all. Just a very, very little bit. 
goes a long way. So I think I got that one right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten it down a little bit more. According to uh, my YouTube uh, searching, that should be good. According to JT Gatoring, so that's who I followed. And uh, so now we're gonna do this one next, and hopefully uh, get it tuned in. So you can tell when you're on the upstroke. So you can tell when you're on the upstroke of this. So it's going down, down, and it comes back up. It gets all the way to the top. And you can, it's hard to see, but you can get, you got a little bit of a, you can move it. It's got a little play in it. And that's how you know your spring is completely uh, free from this rocker arm right here. And that's when you need to adjust it. And I know I need some adjustment because that's, that's pretty, pretty loose on that side. So you want to turn that just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't take much. We're going to take a little handy pliers here. And just hold it. That way I can tell if it's moved or not. Okay, I'm going to have to tighten that up a little more. I can tell it's a little, still a little loose by just feeling of it. I'm going to stop right there and tighten it up just a little bit. Just snug it up till I can, till I can get in here and check it. Let's go with the, let's go with the six first. See the six is going pretty easily. So I know I need to go a little more than that. Cause if you notice when I first started my pliers, the top of these pliers was uh, about straight up. So that's how far I've moved it to uh, start getting it dialed in maybe. Okay, see my six won't go. See it goes right in that, it's going, but it's pretty tight. Let's try the five. See the five's got some friction and the four, four is perfect. Five has got, it's got a little friction and the six, I mean, I can get it to go, but I gotta force it. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna call that good, I think. Y'all can tell where I'm putting it at. It goes right in there. All right, that's, uh, that's not hard at all, really. It's, it's pretty simple, pretty simple process. Just remember, you don't wanna move that very, very little. It doesn't take much to get it to move to where you get it to where you want it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna put the, uh, the valve cover back on it and get this thing put back together. You just wanna be real careful and not get any dirt in there, get it seated back on there and it seats up pretty simple there. I'm gonna put them in with the impact, but uh, I'm gonna tighten them down by hand. Well, that's it, that's, that's all there are. I hadn't been out here long at all, just yeah, even recording the video, it might have took me 30 minutes. It's, it's basic tools is all you need. These pliers really come in handy though, the way you have to hold that little bitty nut on the end because you can kind of tell how far you turn it, you know. So it, it, it really worked out good because it, it doesn't, you're just holding it while you tighten up the nut. So uh, these are great pliers. I'll try to link these below where you can see them. I'll link them in the description where you can find them. And uh, I'll link the filler gauges for you guys. Make it easy. Link them below. You need a number eight. Uh, I think I might have said number 10, but the number 10 is this to take the little nut, the little lock nut loose with. The number eight is for the uh, valve cover housing is what that's for. Work great, easy to do. So don't be scared. Get in there and do it if you're having problems. If you're not having problems, they, they say it's good to adjust them valves on a regular basis anyway. So yeah, get in there and, and get it done. So yeah, we'll see y'all soon on the water. Bye now.